Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm Estada Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making for you something a little different. Just a little. We're going to be making one of your favorite vegan recipes. I know. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing a jackfruit pulled pork taco. Doesn't it sound good? It does sound good. <laughs> it smells even better and it tastes really good. I can't wait. <laughs> Now, we weren't able to get a fresh whole jackfruit, but in the future I'll get one and I'll show you how to clean it and prepare it. So today we're using a young canned jackfruit, and that is going to be the substitute for the pork. So it's going to be really good, so we'll take you along and show you how to prepare it, but now we're going to be starting with the grilled pineapple. So let's get started. Okay. So to start the tacos, we're going to start by grilling the pineapple. Now you can do this outside on the grill, or you can use a grill pan. Today I'm going to be using a grill pan. So we're just gonna simply do this, and you don't need to worry about cooking them too much. We just wanna get nice grill marks on them here. Hear that sizzle, yum. Okay, so we're just gonna get those nice grill marks on there, and then we'll flip them over. All right, so let's take a look at these. They smell really good. Oh yeah, perfect. So you just want a little grill mark on them here. So good. We'll give them a few more minutes on the other side. So these are looking awesome. So we're gonna take these off and replace. Look at that, just golden, releasing those natural juices. You can really smell it. It just smells so sweet, yum. All right, so now we're gonna replace these. All right, as you can see, these are perfect. You ideally wanna get that nice crust on them from the grill, so they are absolutely perfect. So we're gonna take these off and let them cool because the next step for the pineapple is gonna be dicing them, so you want them to be cool. So we'll take those off and we'll get on to our next step here. For the filling for the tacos, we're gonna start with bell pepper. Diced up red bell pepper. Some red onion. Don't forget the olive oil too. We will put the olive oil in. Mm. One garlic. You'll be happy, Dad, I use the press. <laughs> I'm so happy. I know. We'll put a little olive oil in here, the beautiful fresh olive oil, just a little bit so you can saute it in there and get all those flavors. So we're gonna start with that. And in a second, once this gets heated, we're gonna add the fresh chilies from Mom's Garden. All right, this has been sauteing for just a couple of minutes here. It smells so good. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We have the, right now we have the garlic and the mm -hmm. onion and the pepper. So we're gonna be doing, like I said, we're gonna be adding the fresh chilies from Mum's Garden. If you don't like a lot of heat, don't add chili. Or if you wanna clean your sinuses too. Yeah, that's always good. You can also do jalapeno if you want. And again, if you don't want it too spicy, just take the seeds out of the pepper. I noticed you left them in. I did. <laughs> I wanted to clean out your sinuses. <laughs> oh, it's already working. Yes, it is. Woohoo! All right, we'll let that cook and we'll continue. So now that this is nice and starting to cook and you can see the onions are getting caramelized, now we're gonna add the jackfruit. So we already shredded this. This is canned jackfruit, and we just simply took it out of the container and we shredded it. You drain all the liquid from it. And make sure it's young, right? Yes, the young jackfruit. It's a young green jackfruit. And because... I have to say I accidentally tasted a <laughs> piece of it, and it has really no flavor. It doesn't, because it takes on whatever flavor you're using. I forgot you haven't had jackfruit before. So with this, the young jackfruit, as you can see, is this color. If it was a ripe jackfruit, it would be the color of pineapple or like a mango. So we're just gonna toss that in here. Absorb some of those chilies. Absorb some of the chilies. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil, because now we're gonna add the dry spices. And we're just gonna toss that around. We want it to get a little caramelized. Fortunately, you can't overcook jackfruit. All right, so you're gonna keep tossing this because you want it to get all nice and caramelized. As you can see, it kind of degreased the pan. You got all those yumminess infused with the jackfruit. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our dry ingredients to this. So now we're gonna start by adding a little bit of garlic powder or flakes. Just a little bit. I know we already added some fresh garlic, but we're just gonna add a little bit of the dried garlic. Then we're gonna be adding some cumin. We love cumin in this house, so we're gonna be using quite a bit. If you don't like cumin, just add a little or none. That's up to you. We're gonna be adding a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little, because we don't need too much or we already have the chilies in there. Oh, just a little. Just a little. Then we have some paprika. Again, I'm gonna be doing just a little bit because our paprika here is spicy. You can use a soft paprika in the States. And we're gonna be adding a little bit of chili powder. Just a little. Okay. Thank you for stirring my stroke. <laughs> this would probably be really good if you had a cold. <laughs> it would be really good. I wish you could smell this because <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> so now that that's been cooking for a little bit and you can see it's kind of absorbed all those flavors, we're gonna add the pineapple into here. Nice sweet, so you have the spicy from all of that. You have the sweet from the bell pepper and from the pineapple. We're gonna toss that in. Yum. Now we're gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you like. I usually love using Sweet Baby Ray's. They make a really good barbecue sauce. So now that the tacos are finished, what we're going to do is we're gonna put some fresh cilantro right on top. Not only does it add a nice green effect to it, but it just, oh, it tastes so good. If you don't like cilantro, obviously just don't put it on. So good. So now we're also gonna be adding some lime juice. Yummy. It's a little it fresh. It really good, Victoria. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Wait till you try it. I can't wait. All right, that's it. These look really, really good. We just finished putting them together and they smell and look delicious. Even looks like real pulled pork. It really does. Should we try them? Please, let's All try right. it. Try not to spill it everywhere, will you? I have my apron on. <laughs> no, good. I'm glad you have your apron on. Let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Really good. Very good. Mm-hmm. The sweetness from the pineapple, the chili is nice and spicy. Perfect. Really good. Very you good. wouldn't even know that they're vegan. No, you wouldn't. So we're gonna enjoy these. Really good. We'll put the recipe for you down below. And in the meantime, please don't forget to like and subscribe mm. and turn on your notifications. And ciao for now. Ciao, ciao. 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 So they're finally put together, so we finally finished and we put them together and I have to say, Victoria, they smell amazing. And it looks so good. It actually looks like pulled pork. It really does. I can't wait to talk. <laughs> Finally finished and we put them together and I have to say they smelled <laughs>